Women, what is a surprising fact you discovered about men? Story 1. Strength. It was jarring and surprising to see childhood friend who was same age being able to lift me up and throw me into foam pit at the gym after being same strength just three to four years before. It's incredible how once puberty takes off they get so much stronger while I bust my ass in gym so much I cannot reach close to that level. I guess it is what it is. Reply. I was dating a guy and we were messing around, and he was lying on top of me and I was trying to get him off me slash get out from underneath him, in a fun jokey way. After I was like well you probably can't lift me either to which he scooped me off the sofa and pretty much started using me as a dumbbell. It was both funny and terrifying because up until then I didn't really realize how much stronger men were. This wasn't even a particularly strong slash fit guy, more skinny than most. Reply 2. I saw the bodies exhibit in Las Vegas several years ago. It's a collection of different human bodies in various states of dissection. All of the tissues have been replaced by synthetic material, and the bodies are posed in real-life action situations. One exhibit had two people standing side by side. Athletes, a man and a woman of the same age and roughly similar size. I was really floored by the differences. They were very noticeable. Bones, tendons, skin, muscles, nerves all about one-third larger. The woman looked like a bird in comparison. The man definitely had a huge advantage. And all of the men's bodies were the same. Packed to the gills with tougher parts. Men even have more hemoglobin in their blood in order to feed these larger parts. Amazing. Story 2. They can move their dicks lol. Reply. Only when it's erect and in one direction. We can't move it like a finger and grab things with it, I probably didn't need to explain that. Story 3. If they lift up their penis, even while flaccid, and stay perfectly still, you can see their balls move up and down, almost like they're breathing. No, it's not an effect of the person's breathing, it's an independent movement of the balls themselves. It's almost creepy. Also, if you do this with your partner, it's possible they'll get hard, because as I am told it likes being looked at. Reply. It's like a cement truck, mixing it so that it does not dry out. Reply 2. I'm a man and this freaks me out. I have no idea why it happens. Story 4 I hated learning just how much men's emotions, especially crying from either sadness, stress or even profound joy are ridiculed and suppressed. Reply In almost 14 years together I saw my BF cry exactly three times. The time we nearly broke up, when his dad died, as soon as I got there he ran to me and cried on my shoulder, actually sobbed like a little kid and my heart broke into a million pieces, he sounded so lost, and when our daughter was born. Never once crossed my mind to tell him to stop. I encourage it. Let it out of your chest dudes. If your girl thinks less of you because of that, fuck her. Let her go too. Story 5. Men can have super deep bonds with each other, even though they don't show it at all. My grandpa was such a serious man, a shop teacher, a shop builder during World War II, then he fished tuna from the boat he built. After he had to retire from his boat, he did woodwork in the garage. He had a neighbor who would stop by the garage shop every single day and shoot the breeze with him. His neighbor died suddenly. I can't forget grandpa sobbed. He was the most stern person ever, but he sobbed at the loss of that daily visit with his neighbor that his friend died. That daily visit was a lifeblood to him. Reply. That daily visit was a lifeblood to both of them, I guarantee it. Story 6. How few compliments or acknowledgements they get. Now I make an effort to compliment or acknowledge them even if it's a simple thing like that color really suits you, you have a great sense of humor or thanks for helping me, I really do appreciate you. It must be genuine though. Reply. It happens so rarely that the rare times I do receive a compliment, I question if I'm being mocked. I don't know how to accept them and it's an uncomfortable feeling. Sometimes I think it might be better to not get any at this point. Story 7 Many of them actually are romantics and sentimental, they were just taught to suppress that and act tough their whole lives. Story 8 Penises don't all get soft the same. Reply even the same penis has like 15 different lengths it can be at any different time. 
there are times where randomly it shrinks and you would think it must be tiny and have no idea the difference to when aroused. There are other times it's soft and nearly as long as when erect. It's weird. And shrinkage is not just a cold water thing like in Seinfeld, it can happen completely randomly too. Edit, his first highly upvoted Reddit comment was about how weird penises are is what I want etched into my gravestone. Story 9 that there are men out there that refuse to take care of themselves because they think it's gay or feminine. This could be about personal hygiene as well as mental health or anything really. Reply. I had an exchange with some friends a while ago that I thought was pretty interesting. I don't recall how we got to this point in our conversation, but I say that I wash myself up a little bit almost every night before bed, unless I had a shower. Yes, including my ass. My friend asks me incredulously you wash your ass almost every night before bed? He then laughs at me and says that's pretty gay. He stopped laughing when I pointed out that he's essentially bragging to me that he walks around with a shit-smeared asshole all day. Story 10 Apparently it's difficult to control the stream while peeing and sometimes there's a double stream and you guys can't really do anything about it while peeing? Reply There's also the very rare triple stream. Story 11 that I experience significantly less misogyny at my oil field job than my friend does at her office job with more liberal men. Most of my girlfriends want to hear that I experience misogyny often and am out fighting the good fight for women's rights, but that's just not really true. The shit bags I've encountered are shitty to everyone so it has nothing to do with me being a woman. Most of the guys out here are happy to teach me stuff and want to see me succeed. Reply Men treat each other like garbage. Put a woman in that environment, and they will treat her the same. Story 12 That men have a full-blown list of unspoken rules and protocols about using urinals. Even if there are walls for privacy. Reply It's a pretty short list though. 1. Whenever possible, don't stand directly next to someone else. If you can put in an used urinal between you, do so. 2. Look in front of you, at what you're doing and nowhere else. 3. Stay silent. The end. Subscribe for more and leave a comment. Thank you.